We've been hearing a lot about the will of the people. Majority Leader just spoke about that. And just this past week, we passed some resolutions honoring Jimmy Stewart. And one of my favorite lines from It's a Wonderful Life, which is one of my favorite movies, is when George Bailey is confronting Mr. Potter, the greedy banker, and he's talking about the rabble, the normal everyday people. And he says to Mr. Potter, he said, those people that you're talking about, they do most of the working and paying and living and dying in this community. Again, I said this last week when we first argued this bill. The reopening bills that are being presented have a fatal flaw. They do not consider the workers. We are giving lip service to safety and to standards. We're allowing the CDC guidelines, which none of us actually know what they are, to guide legislation. To me, I am representing the will and the interests of my constituents, who are the people doing most of the working, the paying, the living and dying. And they're the ones who are going to die when this virus makes its return. And if we move with haste to reopen, we will find ourselves in worse economic shape, not only work, worse public health shape. And so, I am going to urge a, a no vote on this override because we do need to move with urgency. We do need to press our governor for greater clarity, but we do not need to move with haste. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.